Welcome to Simon Tools again. Today I'm gonna do some repair or replace the new engine for the Kai 970 Conquest Soul. First we check the compression. No compression at all. So we have to remove all this and find out what's wrong. Okay, get your gear ready. First, take off the uh, guard, pull it. Number 13. Extension, turn it back, release the extension. Sorry, this is a series 3 actually, not series 2. So it's a new model one. But they've been uh, using, they look too old. 3, because they're using the 3 bolt without removing this one. So this is a new model. Series 3. So later, we have to remove the seal clutch. Remove the clutch as well. Check the guard. It's too good. Take it out. Throw up later, clean them up before putting them back in. So, remove the belt. Check the belt. All still look good. Put in the bucket. This one, still good. Okay, while we're on this side, we undo the muffler too. The exhaust. The exhaust using 27. So. Put the exhaust nuts and bolts in one side so you don't mix them up. Different with the arrow side. Buffalo out, see it's bigger. So we put them all here, later we put them back together. See all here. Yeah. Make sure keep the gasket, don't lose it. You put the muffler back with no gasket, it will come off. So very important, keep the gasket, okay? Very dirty, very dirty. Later, we're gonna replace the new air filter as well. Don't ever use it again. It not cost too much. See, dirty, a lot of dust. Before move the uh, house, move this one out. See the petrol coming out. Release, and it will stop. And just put tight, firm back, and it should be whole. And no more running out of petrol. See how you're gonna take it up, pull it back, go like that, take it up, twist the cable, it come out from here. So these long nose pliers helping you to move it very easily. See that? Take it up, put it all in here, we wash it later. All have to be washed up, look like brand new when we put it back in. But here, see how hard they work? Something drop in there and melt it in there. Look like marble. Oh, bitumen. Oh, sand, soil, whatever. It draw itself like a marble. Be 
before take the head out, remove the spark plug. So, yeah. Bang! Like that. Don't break this, huh? be careful. That's it. The whole piston now. Keep this one again. We're gonna use that one again. The story is here. See the paper brick here? That's why they suck dust and um, water in here and they damage the uh, piston cylinder, everything here. See the piston? All worn out. Pliers, grip the circuit. One side we do. Knock this side out. So that's the complete remove. This one, the crank bearings. Corner bearings come out all in one pieces. See the worn out here. See the rings, it's worn out. What we do is we keep this, this called the intake manifold. So keep this one, undo it all the way out. So Put in the box. When you buy a brand new one, they come in the kit like this. You know, on the kit. Everything, gasket, piston, new bearings. Brand new. Clean up all out, make it look like new. Get all the dust out before we gonna do anything else. So we have to take this one out. See one broken spring, we just replace one broken spring. To take it off, we need a big impact. And, uh, I think it's number 19. Number 19. So when you go like this, it's on, right? So you have to go go forward to take it off instead of go backward. So right, we take it off later. We do that one later. All inside have been. Wash and clean and blow outside. Then everything, make sure clean all the dust around here before you install the uh, new piston and cylinder. Okay, make sure your hand not dirty too. Clean your hand before install the new piston and cylinder. So we install the cylinder first. Head gasket, metal one, steel one, much better. Let's get in first. See this one? In first. Piston ring. Put it there. This one. This cylinder piston they design. You can have the top decompressor or side decompressor. This engine is top decompressor, so we block the side decompressor. Screw this one in, make sure you check if there any metal or scrap metal that came up from the nuts and bolts when you screw in, they drop in here or not. Make sure, look, nothing in there. And then, put the spark plug in too, just in case when you put your finger on your hand, the dust may get inside the piston. So, tie this one as well. If you want, you can spark up too. Okay. And decompress valves. I just do a quick clean up. Decompress the valves, quick clean up, put in here. All tied in, need by a deep socket number 13, pin one. Hard, make sure it's hard. Okay, all gotta be in like that first. And 
gas manifold. We have to clean this one. I show you how to install this one. So this one, intake manifold. Go on this side. See that little pin there? Just put your finger. Pop the press the top one in first and this side angle go tilt like that and tilt it in slowly 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 and when it's nearly in and press the bottom one the same thing press the bottom one and tilt tilt and tilt tilt it online and press it done that's how you insert the uh, piston ring for the Congo saw see how easy that so now the gasket the gasket to go in there like that make sure it light up in here and we slide out slowly using two fingers holding there top one and bottom one and go down slowly and then get the little pin lined up like that that has go in so now we put head and bolt in someone else I don't know for me every time I put a head bolt I put a bit of lock tight Now we got the uh, carby and everything on. So okay, we just finish the sleep part first, and we go out there to start it up. Put some petrol, start it up, and see how we go before we do anything else. See this one? I'll take off that one and replace the spring. See the spring broken here? The clutch spring. Okay. See this how to take it out. That mean. And later we go backward and we're gonna scoot it in. See this one? Still alright. We replace the spring later. Now we go for a test. Now we try to start. Pull the choke. Pump five times until you feel this one hard. Make sure this one all tied in. Okay. You can put this one down, this press it down. One, two, We have to do. Uh, we have to do adjustment on there. Yeah, lucky. Okay, should be right. So we got the engine going good now. The engine really good. Now we have to do is replace the clutch spring and the 
they're bearing drums. Can you hear? The bearing is gone. So I just replaced for them. So we got the two brand new bearings. 6001. Two brand new ones. Gotta be Japanese brand. Or Australian brand. They're really good. Okay, we're gonna knock this out. So it's gonna be big side, small side. So we're gonna knock the, put the big side down and then we knock it down by anything that can go in there. Doesn't worry. Doesn't worry, so you damage the bigger bearing because this side is not really okay. We have my big hammer. We have my big hammer. Okay, no big hammer, a small hammer. That will do. That's the two old one in the bin. The new one in now. So we turn around this side. Big one there. This one there. You want to help? Put a bit of grease around here. Make it easy to come in. And get the uh, size that's fit around the outside skirt here. So we go for the next size up. So we got the uh, 16, 17. Not a way too big. We go for something bigger between number 18. But okay, we got number 19. It's look perfect to go in there. So we got 19. So make sure don't touch the wrap, the plastic part. Make sure it go in all metal bar part. So, so that one in all the way there. Get the old grease out. Put it along there. Who cares? Okay, second one. Second one. Simple. Light it up. All done. Now in here. Beautiful. The cluster thing. See only one broken. We're gonna take one out. And replace the other one. Okay, get something here. And do this bit. And you can turn all the way there, take it out. It come up now, see? Easily, easy way to put the spring back on. So this is the genuine uh, from a, from a kind of Husqvarna. This spring, they cost you roughly about $10. Roughly around there. Okay, we're gonna go like that. So we can. Can you see, guys? So, gotta be. See that how there? So, that how this one lay like. See the curve? Gotta be out like that. So, we have to be exactly the same. Okay. Now, using this side cutter. And then, rip it really hard. Use your hand. Lift it up. Slice it in. See, see? Push. Push. Done. That's how you replace the clutch spring. Now we're going to put back in the machine. Now we're going to put it back in. So this one. In first. And this one. You want to go in. Not that way. Go backward. Okay. So backward to get it in. And. Use number 19, but don't step to number 3, brother, just number 1, okay? Because if you go too hard, you may broke the um, the main crank engine and you'll be stuck. That's, that's it, that's all you need. Install the new air filter. Make sure very tight down. If you don't do it too tight, they're shaking 
they may lift up and the dust can go underneath the filter and get into the engine. Look like new baby. See if they go through. So that's good. Belt it on. For me, before we do the cover everything on, I turn on the adjustable adjustment. So make sure it go all the way out first before I bolt this one in. So that's it. Later I just put the cover here and that one in and done. So everything else is still working good. Now go for a quick clean. This one and then put everything back and should be should be ready to go. Well thank you for watching guys. That's how I do the replace the new cylinder and piston for this one. Well thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comment down below and uh, please let me know. Right on, thank you, see ya.